If I could ask uh, Dr. Yasser Qadi and start by you, one of them. Catch good, huh? Oh, you know, back in a few months ago, we had the vacuum uh, for not having a youth director at East Plain Islamic Center. So um, in September 2019, we posted the open rec for that position for the youth director. Alhamdulillah, we received eight applications, and mashallah, they were all good resumes with very heavy experiences. We followed the, our process of screening all candidates and conducted four inter, phone interviews before narrowing to some home we requested to deliver khutbah and spend time with our epic youth boys and girls here. As part of the process, we came up with a list of requirements such as verification of references, both Islamic and secular education, educational credentials, degrees, experiences, background checks, and feedback from our scholars. And also interviewed the candidates. These uh, our shirks have interviewed uh, those candidates as well, whom we have brought here after we did the phone, inter uh, phone screening. So Alhamdulillah and Zakallah Khair. And obviously in the decision-making process, board was unanimously of the decision that we have made. So last but not the least, feedbacks from our youth, both boys and girls who were given opportunities to spend time with candidates. MashaAllah, our youth have participated overwhelmingly in this process and provided us with very valuable feedbacks. Without going into the details, due to the legal constraints, only one candidate fulfilled all the requirements with flying colors. At this point, we tied our camels. Obviously, it's, it's, a, it's a very heavy burden and responsibility to the board, to our shuyukh, and of course, you know, uh, for the community as well. Um, so we did our best, and Allah knows that we did. We did everything that possible, all the means, all the tools that were available to us to go through this process. So we tied our camel, and then we did our istikhara. We asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help. One thing just wanted to let you know that um, on a personal level, uh, when we were in the Umrah with Dr. Yasir Qadi, Wallahi, this, was, this, this is a heavy burden and I ask Allah to help me with this one and help this board. So I ask Allah to whatever decision that we are making, we're going, it, is, it brings khair to this ummah, to this community, for our youth and the community at large. So only Allah knows how things will play out. But at this point, we did our due diligence, alhamdulillah, and I'm very content with this. And may Allah help. So it's my pleasure to introduce the youth director of EPIC who is a young fellow from East Coast, sitting here somewhere, I don't know if you know them, was born and raised in New Jersey, completed his bachelor's from NGIT, uh, New Jersey Institute of Technology and Civil Engineering, um, completed memorization of Quran, and received ijazat in Islamic sciences, hadith, and fiqh, usul of fiqh in inheritance. He has conducted programs uh, for youth wherever that uh, he come from and his experiences, alhamdulillah, he will speak for himself. Um, and with Allah's help, he was able to bring Muslims, youth to masjid who were involved in drug and illegitimate relationships. So alhamdulillah, he have some experiences uh, with the work that he have done. He have also worked with various MSAs in the state of New Jersey where he have lived. His hobbies and are teaching, martial art, youth counseling, and spending quality family time. At this point, I could say that, inshallah, this brother will bring khair and benefit and a great deal to our community. Uh, before we ask uh, him to come over here, um, maybe we can ask him to come here right now. So, brother Murad Awad. Takbir. Takbir. Can we take this mic out? I'm going to give it every one of you to you. So before I, I will let Brother Murad to say a few words uh, to us and his plans and, and, and whatnot, I'm going to have a few words from Ustad 
and Imam and our Dr. Yasser because they were also uh, help us with this process, inshallah. Dr. Yasser. Dr. Yasser? Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam wa rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa wala ahma ba'd. Alhamdulillah, we're adding more and more people to our team. And as I said, uh, this is, some, as I said, when I first came to Epic, uh, the community here is unique. And the amount of people that are working together is also unique. Most masajid are barely struggling in North America with one person. Alhamdulillah, we have so many different people doing so many different things, and each one has a niche and an area and a speciality. We really, really are working together as a team, and I'm appreciating all of this diversity and talent, and I'm very happy that Brother Murad has joined, and I'm inshallah ta'ad optimistic that he will bring so much to the table. Uh, he is somebody that has uh, solid credentials and resume, and alhamdulillah, we expect the best from him, and we expect from him, inshallah ta'ala, to raise epic even higher. We want Epic to be living up to its name and be an epic masjid in all of North America. So I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to grant all of us ikhlas and tawfiq and to guide us and to guide others through us. And I pray that Allah Azza wa Jal makes Brother Murad's move a blessed one. And inshallah ta'ala, welcome to the team. Alhamdulillah. Alaikum wa barakatuh. Once again, I um, actually, so for Brother Murad, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this move and this transition an easy one, uh, one that's full of barakah for you and your family. And, um, you know, it is great to have you, inshallah, alhamdulillah, on this team. And I believe that with the addition of Brother Murad and alhamdulillah, with so many other playing parts, so many people in this organization uh, contributing to the community, more than anyone else, the community is benefiting, alhamdulillah. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that while, alhamdulillah, this team is growing, the most important thing is that I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep our hearts united. It is very easy to grow a team, it's very difficult to keep it together. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than anything else that He keeps us united. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us productive in the work that we do. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us efficient in the work that we do. And inshallah, thumma inshallah, we are very looking forward to working with Brother Murad. And inshallah, this is inshallah going to be a great, this will. This is inshallah a great move for the entire community. And welcome aboard to East Plano Islamic Center. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. I guess you brought some cold weather with you from the East Coast. <laughs> alhamdulillah, Rabbi Amin. Uh, another brother from the East Coast. <laughs> alhamdulillah, welcome to Texas and welcome to Plano. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make it uh, a move full of barakah for Epic and uh, for you and your family, inshallah ta'ala. Inshallah ta'ala, with your experience and uh, all the support and help you need, we are always here for you. And as long as you have uh, Allah first in your mind and you do your amal sincerely for the sake of Allah, I will be behind you till the grave, inshallah ta'ala. Barakallah feek, may Allah give you tawfiq, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad al-Sadiq al-Wa'ad al-Ameen wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. To be honest, I'm, I'm really humbled to be sitting with these mountains next to me. I am like of no place. I feel like I'm misplaced, to be honest. Uh, and I'm really humbled and honored to serve a community like this. Uh, this community, Ikhwan, for those of you that came from outside, heard of it, and those of you that didn't, probably, probably didn't hear what we heard outside. Jamal, you're doing something very great. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first before I continue with my speech to bless this community and to continue to bless it and to, to make it a minaret of Islam that spreads light of iman to the rest of the world and not only America. Ameen, Rabbil Alameen. About, about one year ago, like this time, I was living in Al Madinah Al Munawwara. You know, for the brothers that just came back from Al Madinah, I, I was living the time of my life, to be honest. The best years of my life were in Medina. And it was exactly a year ago from now that I decided to leave Al Medina due to circumstances and because I wanted to continue my mission of da'wah here in the West. And I juggled between going back to do business 
as I had many business ideas, I've been a businessman since I was a child. You know, our Palestinian backgrounds, <laughs> they help us a lot in this. So the only thing, I opened my first business when I was 23, and I had that business mindset from the beginning. So I had about four different businesses. I planned it out. I wrote it up. And my wife is here. She could witness, testify to this. I had it all ready. And I said, I'm going back to New Jersey, and I'm going to implement this. I prayed istikhara when my family reminded me to pray istikhara. I said, oh, you know, I have to pray istikhara. When I prayed istikhara, ya ikhwan, Allah is the witness. Right after that, the hard, drive, the hard drive of my laptop went out and I didn't back up any of my business plan. Well, it took me months. I'm like, ya Rabb, what's happening? I came to book my flights. I prayed istikhara, I want to go back to New Jersey. Allahumma in kana fi hadha khayr li fi mahyai wa mamati wa aqibati amri ila akhiri. I made istikhara to go back to New Jersey, which is my hometown, by the way, and where I always planned to give da'wah since I was a child. This is where I wanted to plant my seed. The flights didn't go through and nothing happened. I'm like, Ya Rabb. Then I prayed istikhara, Ya Allah. My last one was to take me out of Medina and go to a place that is good for me, my wife, my children, and for the Muslimin. And I left it there. And that is when I came here, ala barakatillah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed for Epic to reach out to me. And I was also offered six other opportunities where I prayed istikhara, none of them worked out except for this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala works in the greatest ways, ikhwan. Sometimes we look at our we look at our lives and when you sell yourself to Allah, in Allah ashtara min al mu'minina and fusahum wa amwalahum bi anna lahum al jannah. Allah purchased our souls, our nafs, and our wealth. For what in return for Jannah? When Allah wants to use us, He uses us wherever He pleases, not where we please. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed for me to come here, I knew it is for a wisdom that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. And I don't. But I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to aid me, help me, assist me in fulfilling this role to the most complete sense. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless this masjid through me and to bless me through this masjid. Juan, I grew up in Patterson, New Jersey, and then Clifton, New Jersey after that. Born and raised here, I went through the struggles every single one of our youth go through. Every single problem they come to me with, I think I faced in my life at one point. And this is what pushed me to leave my civil engineering background. I'm a civil engineer with experience and I have a strong background in it and I applied for it and received job offers, but I had no intention to do anything except for what I'm doing here. Jama'ah, when you're doing something for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you sell your nafs and you go wherever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes you. These youth that the masjid board is serving, yani when Jawad was interviewing me and the three imams and everyone in the board, I sensed a lot of care for the youth like I didn't sense in any other masjid around America. I've been to so many masajid, ya khwan. But this masjid, there was something unique. Maybe some of our youth here you know, might think otherwise because they didn't go to 16 states in the past six months and, meet, uh, and go to tens of masajid like myself. There's something different about this masjid. And there's something inshallah different about the youth. I still didn't get to do a program with them, but I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the vibe that I feel here continues. Say Ameen. Amen. When, I, when I started to practice when I was a child, the first masjid I practiced in was in Patterson, New Jersey. I walked in with my cap, dressed a certain way with a certain haircut, didn't know much about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, didn't know much about the deen. My background, I'm a Barghuthi. For Palestinians here, they know that Al Barghuthi family is a very secular family. So in, amongst the Palestinians, we're not very religious. So I wasn't raised very religious. But at a young age, I started to practice. 
And subhanallah, ya akhwan, when I walked in the masjid, you would think they met me the way the masjid here meets the youth. Tfaddalu, you have courts, you have a gym, stay, we're going to hire you a youth director, just stay. No, 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 that's not what I got at all. Go, oh, what's, what's wrong with you, kid? Come dress like that. Look at your haircut. Look, you don't even know Fatiha. Get out of here. Go back to the street. And wallahi, akhwan, from that day, I said, wallah, I'm going to learn the deen. I'm going to study and I'm going to dedicate my life and devote my life to serving these youth so that they don't have the same experience I had. And this is exactly what I'm doing here, ikhwan. What I'm doing is I'm giving you everything I have. I'm not offering you to be a director, to be a manager, to be anything of that sort. I came here to be your big brother, and this is to the youth. I came here to be the guy you can call at 1 a.m., tell him anything, spill your heart out, come to my house, drink a cup of tea, chill out, have a barbecue, swim if inshallah I have a swimming pool, I'm still looking for a house, and have some fun. That's the type of guy you're bringing. I'm not some type of dude that just came out of a desert and actually I did come out of a desert. <laughs> I was just in Saudi, right? like around camels and whatnot. But Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, uh, before that I wasn't in the desert my whole life. <laughs> I went to the desert to learn this deen. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I, I, I did what I can. For the time that I was given, I came back and I just need somebody to implement all these ideas that I have. If the youth are up for it, inshallah, I hope, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I make dua that they're up for it. Because I'm going to take them on a roller coaster. Uh, I'm very hyped up, guys. And I'm very spontaneous. And you might not keep up. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to let you keep up with me, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair, jama'ah. Uh, they say everything is bigger in Texas. Inshallah, the hearts of the epic community are bigger to accept me as well. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.